In the last video, we finished up the configuration of NetBackup and created a backup policy which says what we're going to backup, where we're going to backup, when we're going to backup. Since we did not have any clients with installed NetBackup software to backup, we decided to backup the server itself and we created such a backup policy. So we can go ahead now and click on Backup, Archive, and Restore, which if you're not administering the system, you could probably spend most of your time in here. But even then, it will probably be automated through policies. So let's click on Backup Files. And we, if we wanted to, we could have clicked on the main root folder and clicked on the Etsy folder within root and specified a single small directory or file to back up. Or we could simply click here which would check everything. Notice if I uncheck this, but I check something specifically gconf within, it checks this and Etsy, but none of this or none of that. So let's go ahead and uncheck this. And instead, I will check the entire thing to back up. And I will go ahead and click on this backup button. Once I do that, I could start the backup by clicking Start Backup here. The backup was successfully initiated. Would you Do you want to view the progress of this backup? I could say yes. And I could hear the tape drive now uh, maneuvering the tapes and getting... The robot is currently loading a tape from the slot into the drive where it would initiate the backup. And if you wanted to see a detailed output, you could go to the activity monitor. This X means errors has occurred here. This is probably in a previous video where we had a problem with the catalog backup. This blue man means successful, and this running man, it means something that's currently running. If we extend this out a little, we will see some more details. And then we could go ahead and let's make this a little smaller to fit our screen. Let's go ahead and right click and say details and then if we click on detail status we would actually be able to see a step-by-step -step accounting of what's being done estimating the size starting the daemon process making connections it's loaded the first tape, A0000, which is the default naming used by NetBackup for the media ID if there's no barcode or no barcode identified. So it's loaded. The robot has loaded this tape and is mounting it. It's positioning the tape to various to various point and it's using mounting a second tape and down here it tells us the path that it's currently backing up and the percent complete as we could see it's currently backing up the slash boot directory on the server and the percent complete is zero
And so we will probably end the video at this point and come back in the next video to do a restore. And we see here that it, there was some error encountered and it's requesting the next media. And it was granted this new one. And I'm not sure if the microphone could pick it up, but it's currently allocating the new media. So we'll just go ahead and let this run. And in our next video, we'll use the backup to restore. So I'll go ahead and close this and uh, brought, bring your attention again to the activity monitor. Very important. This is where you could see the different job IDs and the status and what policy it belonged to and so on. And up here is where you where we had set up the backup and backup archive and restore the next video we'll click on restore and say what we'd like to restore and if we want to restore it to the original point at which it was backed up or somewhere else that could prove very useful sometimes and this gives us progress we could generate reports uh, we could set up new policies besides these that we did uh, we could set up additional storage units as we add tape drives or robots. Uh, we need to fix this catalog. We are very important for disaster recovery. We left it somewhat what, incomplete. Uh, device monitor. This monitors the activity of various devices. And media. Very important. As we add barcodes, we'd want to see them here and manipulate various aspects of the machine and the systems here. And we could add media servers and different DMZs and more on that later in more advanced videos on NetBackup. So for right now we're going to go ahead and end this and wait until this um, backup completes. If we come back here, the, you might recall the last time we looked at the the monitor, the activity monitor and the detail status, there was an error with tape 1 or 2 and it requested a new tape. It was currently backing up uh, boot and we see now it's moved on to root, desktop, net backup and it's a whole long path here and it's currently working on that. It listed how many files have been written so far, 1500 and, it, and we see here it's up to uh, I believe 4 gigs written so far 4,922,000 kilobytes and it's moved on to a different path is being backed up uh, on this console, it doesn't show uh, smooth progress. It'll probably jump from 0 to 100 when it's done, but that's okay. Um, it shows us that it's beginning, beginning to write, and between the path and the number of files and, and file size that's been backed up, it, it's a pretty good indicator of the progress that's being made. So I'll go ahead and end this video now, and in the next video we'll actually do a restore.